Time pod location identified. Planet Mars. Flight successful. I think we should use this type of technology because it teaches us how to do math, science. Maybe some people think they can be like an astronaut when they grow up. Augmented reality is technology that allows you to uh, add to your physical space, enhancing your physical space. Unlike virtual reality where the environment is completely replaced, augmented reality just adds layers on top of what's already there. Hi, my name is Ted Gould. I'm the Verizon Innovative Learning Schools coach at Akili Academy of New Orleans. My role at Akili is to help teachers implement technology into their classrooms. Our student population is uh, primarily African American, lower income students. We have 600 K through 8 scholars here at Akili. Our school is historic because in 1960, this is the school desegregated by Ruby Bridges. And it's a real honor to teach in a space that was denied to us at, at one time. New Orleans is so unique, but it also can feel very insular because of its uniqueness. And so augmented reality just cracks open the door a bit for our students that may not be able to see past you know, this neighborhood. Technology as a whole, um, augmented reality specifically, is important because we are in the business of preparing scholars for a 21st century workforce. And even people who choose to go into the trades, they will need to have um, some sort of knowledge and aptitude for technology and manipulating things in a virtual space. Some people are overwhelmed by tech. Some people are tired of tech. And so I do think that it's helpful to have an instructional coach or someone who's willing to do that heavy lifting and, and help guide folks into a new way of thinking. I need you to take out your cell phones. You're gonna be using that technology to experience what life is like on Mars through the lens of augmented reality. So in my class, the tools that we use we use a cell phone, and the platform was iOS. You could also uh, use Chromebooks, you could use iPads, you can also use a computer through the web browser. Hi, my name is uh, Ola Kunle Awagboro. I'm a seventh grade science teacher, and I teach at Achille Academy in New Orleans. They call me Mr. O. The most challenging thing when I was on Mars was when I had to do the radio waves because I wasn't familiar with machines like that. You had to fix the battery in a spaceship so you could go to Mars. So the lesson that I incorporated was uh, dealing with Earth and Mars. Through augmented reality, they were able to see what life was like on Mars, and they had to investigate. They had to figure out a math problem. They had to take out the cell boxes and figure out how to end up with the correct amount of cells. So that was critical thinking. One of my students couldn't figure something out, but they were able to collaborate with one another. And I think this was a great experience for them. The most fun was being able to walk around while the thing is on your phone. Augmented reality allows my students to move around and it actually helped me to see that a lot of my students are kinesthetic learners. I notice some of my students might be a little tired. So through the augmented reality, it actually, in my opinion, stimulated their brains. It, it woke them up. But at the same time, they were actually able to now be engaged in something that was exciting, something that was fun. Calculating. This is a very unique tool. It is brand new. It was brand new to me, it was brand new to the students. 
and getting the students' feedback is just something that I would definitely love to incorporate in the future. It made me feel empowered in a sense. I was excited because it was something that I was able to share with my students. Some tips that I would uh, recommend if you ever wanted to get into augmented reality would be to just do some basic research. You could actually go to your app store, just look it up, troubleshoot the app, or you can even actually reference YouTube. I had a very good coach who walked me through. We practiced, and through that, that made things a lot more exciting for me. We have access to so much technology, but our, our kids think these are good for sending texts and, you know, using social media. And so through the use of augmented reality, we are switching that around to let kids see that they can do more than just consume content, but actually create it as well. They can be producers, cameramen, engineers, astronauts. There's always going to be something, and it's always going to seem like there's not enough time, not enough resources. What I have found is that there's always a way to make something happen, and it is just that important that our kids don't fall behind technologically because of our fears.